just finished work, thank God. Long week. It's cold out in the garage. I'm out here for a very specific reason. Actually, before we start, thank you very much. If I can get that on there. Scrag 68, a lovely mug that he sent me. If you haven't already subscribed to Scrag, what I'll do is I'll put the old link down in the comments um, or the description of the video. But Scrag's a top guy. Um, I'm actually, well, I'm lucky enough to say on the 27th of this month, I'm going up with the boys. We're going to go and uh, meet up with um, Telford Phil. We've got Sam coming across from Scotland, up north Koi Pond. It's like the only Finns group meeting. Um, it's not mean at all. We're just going to up. We're going to do um, a wander around three or four dealerships up that way. Um, but I'll pop that stuff down on this channel anyway. You'll get to see the tours and some of the places we visit. Hopefully, I don't spend too much money. Um, I also got very cleverly, there you go, sis. Which is very handy because the tape in my bowl is Kanaka. But what they've very, very cleverly done is Telford Aid and um, Scrag, they've put their logos on it. So what that means now is every time I film a fish in my bowl, you lot are gonna see the logos. So with Aid, with Scrag, Phil you're probably already subscribed to, the Colonel. Uh, but Scrag and Aid, definitely go and check him out. And then I haven't got to uh, keep pointing out their logos for you. But I'll show you this. That's right. Well, what a fucking mess you say. Look at it, so this hasn't been touched. So this was where the grow, I say where the grow on was, where the grow on still is. Um, but obviously there's my guards off the pond. There's an old deck chair. There's some, strangely enough, there's the, whatever they're called, the flippy floppy things. It's just, just crap building up out here. So I'm not going to be using this this year. Um, I've said I loved having this for the year. It's been really good. I built it cheaply. So, and anything I, I've got on it, I can transfer across. I need the timber for another job anyway. Um, but it wasn't really big enough. It was 1,400 litres, but always a lot of butts, isn't there? Um, but it's, uh, it's square. It's a cube. So it doesn't really give them the opportunity fix my roof leak, didn't I? Mum would imagine that I don't need this anymore. Oh. No, there is a little bit in there, look, if I dribble. Oh shit. If I dribble that out, there is a bit of water in there. So I'm not quite fixed my leak, but I'm, I'm getting there by next year. Um, what was I saying? Yes, so um, it's cube. I need, if you ever, the advice I can give, if you're ever gonna build a grow on, you need to make it optimum for the fish to grow on. A square doesn't do that. You need a length, really, where they can really open out their fins, give it some beans um, and get a swim on and really grow. Um, what I noticed with this, it, it doesn't allow that. So um, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, if I do build another ground, I really wanna concentrate on getting the main pond the best that it can be this year. Um, money spent on grow-ons and things like that just um, takes away from that. Um, there's a lot of things I didn't do last year. And when I look back now, in hindsight, it was because I was faffing around with the grow on and things like that. So, gonna start dismantling this, use the timber I could do with the space, the tumble dry I can come back out here. I can use it to store all my old crap that's now currently stacked up on top. Um, yeah, so that'd be good. Just trying to think if there's anything else I need to do. I don't think there is. I think we're, I think we're golden. So let's get cracking, let's get dismantling, and uh, then I can give it a good scrub down in here, paint it a different colour that doesn't show the mould. Although the mould won't be a problem because the ground won't be in here. Um, yeah. I'm um, procrastinating as always. I should call this the Procrastinating Koi Channel, or Procrastinating Koi Keeper, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Because um, I procrastinate a lot, I look, but it is cold and I've been at work, I don't really want to do it. But such is life, I need to stop whinging like a big baby. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Looking at it now, thinking, oh, actually, it's a lot bigger than I remember. <laughs> but it's not, it's not. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's a square shaped. Same literage would be all right, or volume, but it just needs to be a lot longer. Look where it's been left, though, look. Look at everything growing. Gross, the only good thing is all the equipment is in here. So, got to find new homes for this, unfortunately. But it's all stuff I want to keep. Um, 
Yeah, just having a look, no sign of any damage. A lot of water in here from where I have my roof leak, which I have stopped. I like that one. <laughs> so yeah, just gonna get all this equipment out. All I'm doing at the moment is it's quite cold, I've got the heater on, trying to warm me up. Uh, gonna get all this cladding off and then just take it out bit by bit. And hopefully it comes out without a fuss. Knowing me though, I tend to over engineer things. So what I'm probably gonna find is, as I try to take it apart, it's put together far too solidly and I'll be cursing myself. Straight away we hit a snag. Fucking sod's law. So I could have screwed these on, couldn't I, huh? Could have nicely screwed these on. I didn't. I used my bread nailer. So I was hoping just to take the screws out and uh, stack them up. For now, I certainly won't be banging the nails out. I'll just flatten them down for now and then cut them off at a later date when I need to use a timber. But what a piss take. Right, as expected, I'm bloody roasting now, soaking wet. I put this in way too solid. The thing's bolted to the balls and all sorts. I don't know what I was dreading was gonna happen. I mean, this building's probably been here about 80 years. It's quite big actually when you look at it. I'm, I'm <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm only joking. This is not how I'd have it. It's too high, too square. I've got to keep convincing myself that. Well, I'm just too late now. Look at the state of it. What really surprised me is you can't see it. Water always used to drop. Somehow water was escaping. You can see the wet down this side. I don't know if you can see that. So water was obviously escaping somewhere, not through the um, the liner, but dribbling down the back somewhere. But yeah. My golly gosh. What's the rule? Freezing out here. So I've just come back from football. Nice little win for the lads, the little ones. Look. How does this much rubbish come out of it, look? Crikey. So, I'm going to carry on with this now. Get this tidied, sorted out. Get all the rubbish cleared up. And then I can take it out of the skip. But it is a mess in here. But it is just so cold. Fox has been last night, cleaned it up, but uh, kindly took a shit on my pond again. Welcome to another episode of The Fox is Taking the Piss. This time, it's not the hose. He took a dump on the dragon's head. How? And why? More importantly, why? Why would you do that? Dickhead. rubbish everywhere but this is uh tidying this up a bit in here now this will become just like an outhouse area again just used for junk so start cleaning up in a minute look at this i cut that for my tempest i'm gonna have to put a picture frame over that and i leak but yeah oh look, a camera up there forgot i had that but yeah i'm gonna go and try and get rid of all this crap now morning all if skiing myself, we're in the car, we're on a bit of a road trip. We're going to meet Sebers and Scott from Koi Ponics. So, a uh, newly acquired friend through the hobby is Andy. Very, very sadly though, Andy has decided to shut his pond down. Um, it seems to be coming the norm now, doesn't it? I've seen so much on social media, uh, on the forums and the groups and that, people shutting down their ponds. Because um, people just can't, I've shut my grow on down, which you would have seen just a minute ago. Um, people just can't afford to keep running these things. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and help Andy out. I'm not really looking for anything myself, coy wise but just said that because we've got a Facebook group, we've got the WhatsApp group and stuff like that, we could pop out and maybe help him. Um, he's got 10, 15 koi to get rid of. Um, he's got a field trail drum. I'll show you all of that when we get there. But um, if you're interested in any of it, in any of it should I say, um, either the Only Fins Facebook group or through Eden Koi Pond on Facebook, uh, but yeah, when we get there, so we're about half hour out now, 35 minutes out. Um, I'll show you around. Hopefully Andy's all right with me filming. Uh, but yeah, see you in a bit. All right, morning all. We're here. I've got me up because it's cold and I forgot me hat. So. Did you got a drink, young man? Want to drink it? You sure? You all right? It gets dragged around to all this stuff. <laughs> Seabs and Scott are over by the pond. It's a lovely pond. Such a shame. Um, the guy's just come to the end of his hobby. Morning, you two. Morning. <laughs> See, here we are. Look. It's a lovely shape. So it's part in ground, part out ground. 
kind of a field trail drum backy shower so all these koi will be available for free this one's on a bottom drain but yeah no really nice setup so it would say 10,000 litres was it yeah yeah now, i wouldn't be getting rid of this would you <laughs> it's really nice there's the koi in there look a mixture nice oak on somewhere got to add and buy a chag down there Couple of kahakus in here. Oh, well, there's the ogon. Oh, and there's a black chag from Adam Bar as well. A bit of koi pox on it, but nothing to this time of year. So there's a JS Koi 600 shower will be available. CSM, full of CSM or ceramic, whatever they want to call it. And then just around the corner, I'm going to squeeze around there, gents. We haven't been around there yet, have we? I'm going around there. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So there's a shower. Oh, he's done the same as me. He's got jack mat in the top, and then the CSM below that. And then in here, he's got a couple of air pumps that'll be available as well. And then the drum unit is just in there. But it's a really nice pond. Morning, Ev. Ev's modeling his new haircut. Give us a smile, Ev. <laughs> Get lost. <laughs> Get lost as a skimmer. Chlorinator. Yeah, no, really nice pond. I like his Japanese things. I wonder if he'll sell them to me. We'll find out in a minute. <laughs> but yeah, no, shower's not running at the moment. They all seem very happy. There's a couple of in there with battle wounds, or two in particular. One's got heavy koi pox, and one's got an injured eye, but he's been like that for so long. What do you say, 10 years, bless it? Yeah. Yes. But I think the sad reality is, is this one will be cold. But the others all seem healthy. Good size. You can't really see it, but what are they all? 40, 45 centimetres? Yeah, easy. Easy. It's probably a couple of 50 centimetre lumps in there. Especially the Ogon. Nice. It is nice, the bronze Ogon. It's in good condition as well. No marks, blemishes. It's. I sound like I'm selling a car. Easy down here, look. Service history. Service history. One careful owner. But yeah, I can't believe he's getting rid of it. So I wish my pond was this sort of light shape, not rectangle, something a bit more natural. Then obviously you've got the bamboo and that that comes through. Yeah, nice. It does look nice. It's very tranquil here, it's very peaceful. And we're in the middle of a, it's quite a new development, isn't it? Got new properties, but it's still quite. And this is uncovered. I don't know what UV has got. I have to have a look in a minute. But it's, there's no, there's not a lot of algae, is there? Mind you, I suppose it's died off for this time of year. He's just got it on a single return. Um, but I'll do what I'll do is I'll film some of the other bits. He's got his um, ancillary items, I suppose we call them. But yeah, I'll catch you in a bit. Oh, you're a superstar. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Look at that. What a gent. Sure, don't mind, bro. It's very peaceful. <coughs> What's quite nice as well, with mine, the pond's up here. This is quite nice because it's... You I've often thought of putting some decking around mine. Shut up! No height jokes, <laughs> come on! Yeah, I'm actually on a box at the it's moment. Hello all, just getting myself a nice cup of tea. In here is looking a lot tidier, just need some edge pieces on it and then painting. Tumble dryer's back in place, so I'm gonna bring the bikes. Excuse the sound of the motorbikes outside. Fucking inconsiderate people. Um, this will just come a little storage area, so I've got a lot of my stuff in the workshop at the moment, which um, I need to transfer out. Oh, let's turn the light off, let's save some electric. There we go. So we're just back from Andy's, as you see, we've done the, um, he's closing down his pond. So you've got all those bits. If you're interested in any of it, let me know. What I'll do is I'll put some prices of the main stuff up on the screen at the moment. Um, in terms of the filtration, it was a filtrail single drum, but with the, um, with the extra, bio, extra bio unit, similar to what up north Koi Sire's got. Fisher in there, look, everyone's down the bottom. Bit depressing bits I got myself. Got another bowl, which is always handy. Got a lovely 80 centimetre pan net. But what I'm most excited about, I've got myself a tub 
for the old um, the old feed. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a check on this pond. But if you're interested in any of it, just get in touch via the um, Only Fins Facebook group, or you can message me on Facebook, um, Eden Coy Pond. And uh, yeah, I'll put you in touch with him. He's Andy, he's a really nice guy. It's absolutely, it's a stunning pond. It's really nice. It's how I would like to have built mine, really. A bit more informal rather than the, the box out of the ground. Um, but yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, get in touch if you're, you're looking anything. I just looked and my bloody bird table's blown over. It's no fucking good, is it? But uh, yeah, right, I'll leave you here. I'll see you next week. We got, I'm um, really looking forward to it, actually, at the end of this month, January, we got a trip. We're going up Noof. We're going up the Midlands, so we're going to go a little bit of a tour. So we're going to do sort of four or five dealerships, uh, meeting up with Koi Pond, uh, Sebers Pond, Koi Ponics, Sam Hirschfield. I think I said before, actually, just saying this, reeling them off. It's um, I think I said this at the start of the video, so I'm sorry if I did. Uh, be up north, Cy Telford from uh, Phil from Telford Koi Pond. Um, I think possibly aid the Koi Keeper and Scrag. He's coming down to see us as well so that's going to be good you'll have uh, lots of footage of different dealers and um i've treated myself to a little coy as well which i shouldn't have done um, but you'll see more of that in the coming weeks but for now for me and the pond a very boring pond i'll uh, i'll catch up with you next week all right have a good week now <laughs>